Monday. Monday, Monday. And we are so far so good, but it is not even 8 o'clock in the morning yet. But I've been up since 5. I have gotten my scriptures done. I have actually worked out, well, not really. You saw it in the beginning clip. I was dancing to music. And that's what they told me. Any movement? Last night, I just, I could not do anything. Because I'd done so much in the morning. By evening, it ain't happening. So, I just sat here in my chair. And I remembered what my physical therapist just said. Excuse me, I don't like. I, I might have to change tops. This one's not quite as modest as I like. Anywho, of course, y'all seen me in a tank before. Honey, wait till August come. I'll be as naked as the law allows. Alabama heat ain't funny. Anywho, um, where was I? We were somewhere. We're all lost on this journey together. I'm driving. Mm. Anywho, I was sitting in here in this chair and I just started moving my arms. You know, doing that and then sideways and just pumping them up and out. And, and Fat Man looked at me and was like, what in the crap are you doing? And I'm like, my physical therapist told me any movement is good movement. And, uh... My arms will burn, and they said it's from lack of use, and it's where the oxygen and the blood flow is trying to get back in there and get those muscles strong again, and that's what causes it to burn. And sure enough, the more I got to where I was using my legs, they quit burning. And I can tell now that I've gotten kind of stagnant, or not as movement as I was, uh, my legs have started burning again. So, I have worked out a plan. We, and we're going to take it day by day. Today I can move. Tomorrow I might not be able to raise my head off that pillow. Whatever the Lord grants us. Amen. Um... But so far, I've, like I said, done my scriptures, did my exercise. I actually did planks. I called Brian and asked him if I should do some planks. And he was like, Mama, heavens no. And then Matt Moore from Spartan. Hey, Matt. I'm going to send this to you, darling, um, from the Spartan races. He is one of the developers. And... Uh, me and him have been messaging back and forth, and um, he's going to help work out a, a workout plan for me. My goal was, was to run the small Spartan race within a year of discharge. In other words, this coming October, October 21, I wanted to run the Spartan, I think it's the Sprint. It's the like the 3K. It's anywhere from a 3K to a 5K. But you still have to do like the obstacles, like the monkey bars and the 15 foot rope climb and the 100 foot Hoyer lift and all, all that stuff. No, no, that's not my goal no more. I need to set more attainable goals. My goal. And I reached that one. My goal was to be able to walk without a walker at all times. Um, I still needed to go long distances. But like here in the house, first thing in the morning, I can move and groove without her pretty much. Sometimes I'm off balance and I need her. I can just kind of tell. And late, I'm trying to button my sweater. So if you see me looking down... I'm playing Mr. Rogers and talking at the same time. I was buttoning my sweater. Anywho. <coughs> Sorry. 
Today is Monday. <laughs> Crazy tree. Um, Carol Beth has decided to go back to art. Yay! Becca is going to take her. So, I'm trying to get my house stuff done this morning while they're here. Because I know... Sorry, once they're gone, I uh, will have to just sit here. I, I, I won't be able to take dogs out. I won't be able to do nothing. Um, it will just be, I'll sit and look pretty, as that man says. Just sit there and look pretty. So, I'll be able to do that. So I'm trying to get, I was folding laundry. I got all of it folded. I'm putting it in the wagon. And this is just how we roll now. I'll fold. That man will actually change out some. I've gotten to where I can get into the laundry room and change out from the washer to the dryer. Yes. If you're new here, we have concrete floor that we tried to paint and the paint wore off. So we're just living with it until we can get out of baby step two which now we've had to back up to baby step one because uh-oh what's happened yeah don't ask um yeah even with stimulus we had a uh-oh life so if you are a dave ramsey person baby step one is get a thousand dollars in savings and right now at this point in time they said a thousand is not near enough, and I agree. Because you'll blow through that thousand just like that. Trust me, we already have. Um, yeah. Yeah. One, one ER visit and a two or three hospital day stay, gone. Um, needless to say, three months. At 80, 20 percent. If anybody wants to loan us $155,873.53, that's Roten, R O T E N, <laughs> 70 Carlo, C A R L O W. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe I need to go fund me. What was it that man said? We don't have to worry about identity theft. If anybody tried to pull up our credit report and, like, tried to get something, they would feel so sorry for us. They would set up a GoFundMe account. <laughs> so, let me get these clothes put away. Uh, like I said, we're approaching a, a pratting of words. My words. I'm hoping to hear from my neurologist about that. Like I said, MRI is fine. Praise the Lord. But my EEG was so funky. Even my nurse of the past seven years, eight years, eight years now, she could not interpret it. She's never seen anything like it. Leave it to me. It's Roadrunner and Wally Coyote up there. They got the Acme factory going. Anywho, I'll put these clothes away and then I promised Carol Beth I would make her breakfast. So we are going to do eggs and I've got some bacon I need to use. If bacon is dated January the 5th and it's the 11th, and it's never been open. Is it still good? We're going to Google that. I don't want to waste bacon. Times is hard. I might, well, she doesn't like bacon anyway. She wanted sausage patties. That's right. But I might, I might fry up some of that bacon and see if it's any good. And if it is, I'll fry up the whole thing. And yeah, y'all don't, moving on.
I got through putting clothes away and now I'm fixing to start breakfast. Did you see how handy that wagon came in? And it helped me keep my balance. As long as I got something I can hang on to. But now my back through here is just about to kill me. So, um, and that's just those muscles. I mean, I've been bending, I've been stooping, I made beds, I, you know. Um, but I'm fixing to start on Care West breakfast. And again, I had the question about bacon. It's been in here. Um, it's dated January sell by okay sell by January the 5th 2021 so sell by and used by are two totally different things correct yeah yeah sell by and used by is two totally different yeah oh my god <laughs> But she wants sausage patties. So I've got some of those down here. If I can bend my oak crate dog, they're like right there. And then I think, whew, I do have, I need to clean this freezer out. Um, we are doing the, if you go to Fun Cheaper Free, and I'll leave a link down below, Jordan Page. Hey, Jordan, I'm going to leave your link down below. Go to Fun Cheaper Free. And they have what they call shelf cooking. And it gives you dinner ideas. Um, if you're wanting to start a, if you're wanting to start like a meal plan and you aren't quite sure about what to do or, or, or how to start, you can um, go there and get some wonderful ideas. Um, I got in such a routine of doing the same old, same old, my crew was getting tired of it. So, um, and then when I was in the hospital, they got tired of chicken fingers and fries. That man said the Hemi Care Beth got great at chicken fingers and fries. So, I'm going to get started with this breakfast, and then we'll see what gets us from there. Okay, if you saw me kind of counting biscuits and counting sausage and putting some back and getting some more out and then throwing some more butter in the pan, um, I realized we only had like two sausage patties left in the thing. And so I got to thinking, I thought, well, I'll count the biscuits and see how many we have. So we've got enough biscuits. We had exactly seven biscuits and seven sausage patties. Now you tell me God ain't in charge of that. Come on now. Um, yeah. So, I'm just going to go ahead and make up all seven. And then that way that man can grab him a sausage biscuit um, on his way out the door if he's going. Or, I don't know if y'all have ever made the freeze ahead breakfast burritos. I've still got some of those in the freezer. He has forgotten about. I need to move them to the top. That's one reason why I need to clean that freezer out. We did do the shelves from here to this point. I can't reach here and I can't definitely reach down there. But this let me know, I did not realize I had that much cream of mushroom soup. When Thanksgiving had come around, I didn't have any. And we were looking for some and could not find any. So after Thanksgiving, I bought a case. And so, and if you think about it, every time you go, get you a couple of cans of evaporated milk. Just, just go ahead and get them. Or, we've got 
one of these left the shelf stable milk and it is good until May of 2021 and I'll know I'm gonna go ahead and put this maybe like right there so I'll know to use it first um it's great for cooking I don't know if I would put I wouldn't use it for like cereal or anything evaporated milk tater tot casserole calls for evaporated milk I kid you not um poppy seed chicken is best made if you're going to put add milk to it which I don't add milk to mine yeah no we don't what am I thinking of but like your hamburger helper if you have one that calls for yeah like two cups of milk hamburger helper you can use that shelf stable milk or evaporated milk and it will make it so much richer and creamier and that way you're saving your gallon milk your drinkable milk to drink does that make sense but it's good to have that shelf stable milk on hand just in case because you never know you know what I'm saying um okay um but yeah I was gonna go ahead and just make up my uh I'm drinking my orange juice and trying to breathe just gonna finish making up these breakfast sandwiches and I'll be back all right for those of you that have never seen my cheat way of doing true southern biscuits take your cast iron skillet melt butter take your frozen biscuits now, this is a great value. I will go ahead and tell you, we like Sam's, the Member's Mark, or Pillsbury. Those are the best. I am not too much of a fan of these great value ones. They're okay, but yeah, no, not a fan. Um, but do you see how I'm taking it, and I'm putting it in that melted butter, and then I'm going to flip it. That's just from the cast iron. This one needs to be put in the fire. If your cast iron gets to where it's starting to get scoury, this was my grandmother's. I've got one that was my great grandmother's, believe it or not. Um, but if you get to where they got like that, okay, do you see how I dumped them in that butter? Now, I'm just going to put them in there for the time that it says. And you going to have you... People will think they got them some homemade butter biscuits, you know what I'm saying? They homemade, I made them from the store to the home with them. Anywho, um, if your cast iron skillet gets that black, how would you call it? Like that black scoury stuff, um, where it like flakes off or it's, I don't know, it just builds up over time. Take and, if you can, build you a fire outside, a little small wooden fire. And uh, once your ashes and coals get good and hot, take and very carefully put your um, cast iron skillet in it, get you a shovel and put some of those hot coals on top of it and just kind of keep putting those hot coals on top make sure it's covered underneath the bottom and just let it do its thing wait till the next day and you brush them coals off and you want that pan to get white hot I mean it will get white hot that whole iron skillet should turn white mm -hmm. and it's burning that that gunk off and uh, then you re-season it and you got a whole new thing so that's how you handle I know a lady at church wanted to know if that's your grandmother's and that other one is your great grandmother's mine's got that much gross stuff on it I can't even use it anymore and I'm like heavens to bits you don't throw it away that's the best kind and I learned that trick of the fire trick up from Miss Betty so you, you can't go wrong with advice from Granny Betty I'm just saying so 
so my sausage is doing its thing. I am going to set my timer for my biscuits. And I think I'm going to sit down and go finish my juice. And my air is almost out, so yeah. Okay, here is breakfast. Those biscuits just, and Kerbel said they're fine. But to me, the tops just did not brown good. The bottoms are perfect. Look at that. You can tell how, like, crispy. But the top stayed kind of. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm sorry, Walmart. You need to get your act together on your biscuit. All right. I got to put my strawberry preserves away. I'm so tired of grape. All right, so I'm going to eat. I let Carol Beth take all the eggs. I am going to eat me two sausage biscuits. Look at there. Look at there. Um, I don't feel guilty because I did work out. I'm still trying to slowly acclimate without oxygen. It, it ran low battery, and I could not get it to charge. And so finally I had to take the battery completely out of it. Yeah to uh, get it to charge. So there you go. Okay, hey Hans, I'm back. It is now um, almost 5. I'm looking, I was going to say it's 425, but that's what I have my oven set on. Yeah, they're letting me be in control of large appliances. Who's the smart one in this house? It's not me. <laughs> Anywho, I'm making it easy, simple, simple, easy recipe. Um, my go-to chicken pot pie, back when Aldi had their, like, refrigerated pie crust on sale for 79 cents a box, I bought, I don't know, I think 10 of them, and stuck them in the freezer. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I knew that we had that put chicken in there. We used two little bags to make the poppy seed chicken, two pans. And I'm only going to do one pan of the chicken pot pie. Back I wanted to know why. And I'm like, well, we've got so many other leftovers in there. Tomorrow night, we're just going to do leftover night. And uh, that'll just kind of clear out the fridge. My Misfit Market box, do not pay attention to that link. That's, yeah, hmm. A friend of mine gets hers. Evidently, Mobile has got their program going on. Montgomery, no. No, not if you're in Montgomery, Alabama. Don't do it. Um, they're giving me my money back on my box because my box was supposed to be here Saturday. And now it's saying they're going to deliver it Tuesday. Do you think that the mangoes that were in that box that were supposed to be here Saturday, you think they're still going to be good if they show up Tuesday? Or Wednesday. I don't think so. But anywho, I'm rolling out my pie crust now. And this, like I said, it's just super simple. I've got um, cooked chicken. I'm going to chop it up a little bit finer. And then I'm using canned mixed vegetables. And cream of chicken soup. And I'm going to kind of double everything. Just to make it a little heartier. Since I am only doing one. I'm trying to walk and talk and do some things. I'm trying to wean off my oxygen. And one, one note before I do stop. Um, Bridget, I got my fun mail today. And I do have to show it because I am just tickled pink. I love it. Well, yeah, let me do this first. Um, she saw me struggling. The other day. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I love the color. Thank you. Honey, you know, Big Mama, you, you got me down pat. You knew that was my color and my pattern. Thank you, Oin. I love it. I do, truly, from the bottom of my... She saw a need. And if you are part of our scripture writing st study... Scripture writing through the year. I think I shared it on one of my blogs before. If, if not, I'll link it down below. 
it is wonderful if if you don't have a devotional or a Bible study that you're doing right now do this and it's a good way if you're a new believer or if you don't if you've never really sat down and, and truly studied the Bible before it's where you just take nuggets of verses and you write them out and my thing is, I got to where I was writing them out. Check. Done that. Made my bed. Check. Done that. And that's not what God calls and wants from us. God wants all of us. And trust me, I have learned. Let me tell you, like I said, I improved. God is still in the miracle business. And... <laughs> They said it's that's the reason why that I hear voices. I don't hear voices, but I do talk to my grandma because I saw her when I was on the ventilator. I could read a shout and touch her. She talked to me. She's the one that told me that I could not stay. I had to come back. And uh, yeah, yeah. And nobody will ever change my mind that that did not happen. Nobody will ever make me think that, oh, it was the drugs and it was the ventilator. And the, mm -mm, no. No, I saw and talked with my grandmother. I surely did. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I saw pictures of her through her life. It was like watching a movie. And then all of a sudden, I saw her. I mean, like, saw her. And, uh, anywho, off track. Where was I going? Thank you, Bridget. <laughs> she saw, oh, she saw me struggling, and she saw that there was a need. And that goes into what I kind of put on our scripture verse um, thing today. As you're, don't just read it and then write it. Read it, write it, and then go back and think about it. Glean on it. What does God have for you that day? That verse, what does he want you to get out of it? And you can do Matthew's commentary. You can do, I mean, look up online. That's, you know, um, BibleVerse.org. Um, whatever commentary you want to look for. Um, I would say be careful of some. I'm not going to mention name. Just be careful of, you know, certain ones. But, um, <coughs> hold on. Yeah, Carol Beth's like, you're matching. <laughs> it's like I planned that. <laughs> okay, we're good. Um, I'm waiting on my pie crust to kind of get room temperature so I can roll it out. It's round. And I'm doing a rectangle pan. I, I made it through high school. It might have been Alabama high school, but I made it through high school. And I know you can't stick a round pie crust in a rectangle pan. Can you, Samuel? Oh, he ain't answering. He went to a different high school. Yeah, that high school. <laughs> I'm joking. Um... Anywho, thank you, Bridget. And, um, but, yeah, that was what I was kind of touching on. Of just see what God has for you. You are here. Everybody keeps telling me. Our car insurance agent called and left a message. And uh, I finally got back up with her. And she's like, well, I just wanted to. To hear from you. I wanted to hear your voice. She said, we have been praying for you and praying for you. And she said, we all had COVID. She said, nothing like you did. Nobody was hospitalized. Not, you know, none of them had it like that. And uh, she said, but I th she thought, she, she said, Lord, if I thought I was dying, I can't even imagine how you felt. And I said, well, that, in a way, I guess the good Lord blessed me. I don't remember none of it. Um, yeah. I remember once they brought me out. And I remember how I hurt and how I hurt now. And praise the Lord, it is getting better. But 
um, she said, I just need to hear your voice. She said, you're the miracle lady. And I'm like, well, that's what they kept calling me. And uh, she said, oh, yeah, you don't know how many people have been praying for you and thinking about you. And, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. And uh, I told her, I said, well, you know, Beck had started Facebook group. And I said, from there, we would even gotten a thing from a lady in Nigeria. And I just, it's like God did not bring me this far for me not to have a purpose. Um, and if that purpose is even just to show kindness to one person or to make a difference, I was, oh, that's what it was. Let me find it. My mind. My mind ain't working like it's supposed to. Is it, honey? No. But it'll be all right, won't it? Is it okay if my mind's not working right? Yeah. He loves me anyway, don't you? Oh, Lord. He's sneezing. Sawdust. Okay. It better not be the Rona. No, it's sawdust. It better not be Rona. But I am walking without my walker. I'm walking kind of gated, wobbly. I think gated would be a better word. Anyhow, in my planner, my end of the leafy tree top sitting in pretty. And this time I did not get the Mormon version. I just got the non-denominational version. It's still, I got the mothers who knows. And now they've got it where you can do non-denominational. It doesn't have any of the Mormon pages in it, but you still get your Sunday school pages where you can take notes. You still get your New Testament and Old Testament check marks where you can check off as you read a chapter. So you still get all those. Well, I forgot at the end of January, you get this Happy New Year 2021 like goals. And... What is your word for the year? And like I said, I finally came up with warrior. So at the top, I just wrote the definition of a warrior. And then it had like the qualities and traits of a warrior. And I'm still looking some up. There's still some more. But, uh, and then I put in, you know, kind of a project wish list of like, put the back door in and do some floors, and get some dents paint off. Spiritual gifts, talent, skills, personality. Ah, Y'all don't want to know what I wrote in that box. But my definition of success. Okay? And I'm going to leave you with this little nugget. If at the end of my life, I have made a good impact on people's lives through laughter, encouragement, kindness, love, hospitality and just in some way great or small made a good difference and that is my definition of success because you can't take money with you when you go you can't take possessions with you when you go but if you made an impact if you made a difference even even just a small difference if you made somebody's awful horrible day a little bit better that right there that is success that is success that is what we're here for it's what I'm here for anyway Lord knows I can't do nothing now you <laughs> <laughs> so, think about that. Now, now I'm crying again. But it'll be all right. Okay, my pie crust ready. Let me get this in the oven so I can feed these heathens. Yeah. Until next time, put on that smile. Get them dimples out. Yeah, I don't have my pearls on. Maybe that's my problem. I do have my warrior bracelet, and I'm still debating about getting my warrior tattoo, y'all. Just saying. I always said I never would get a tattoo. I... Yeah. 
I grew up, my grandmother taught me people that did that. Never mind, I ain't gonna say what my grandmama said. It wasn't a bad word, it just it wasn't nice neither. Yeah. Anywho, but I'm seriously thinking about getting a warrior. And it's got a crown on the egg. I will have to send y'all a picture of it if I can find it on Pinterest. I think I saved it on Pinterest. Anyhow, until then, smiles, pearls if you got them. If you don't, show your, show your, um, what's it called, hon? What, what you talking about? When they cut my throat to get my air in. Take tracheotomy. Tracheotomy. When, when you got your trach scars, show those off. Hey, hon, how you doing? Freak people out. Um, <laughs> I got one lady. We were somewhere. And she just kept staring and staring. And it was right after. And my head was bald, bald. I mean, like bald, bald. I looked like un Uncle Fester because it was bald. I was pale. I looked like Uncle Fester, and she just kept staring. And I thought, Dad, burn it. I'm going to fix her little apple cart. And I looked over at Becca, and I said, Man, where they took my Adam's apple out, it sure is hurting. <laughs> that woman turned away real quick. If you don't get it, go ask your husband's. And y'all, please hit like and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you'll no be notified when I upload again. I'm, gonna, I'm shooting for Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Don't hold me to Friday. Oh, no, wait. Scratch that. Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Fridays, I have treatment. So, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, Saturdays, for sure. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. I got it written down. I had something else written down, too, and I forgot it. It'll be all right. Anywho, um, yeah, we're all good. It's, it's fine. Everything is fine. Like my therapist, or, well, psychiatrist told me, it's okay. It's okay. I was crying about I'd never even gotten, it was a telemed visit. We were talking up through the phone, and it was a video conference. And I said, I'm so sorry, I'm still in my night again. I probably told you all this story again. I'm sorry. And uh, I said, I'm so sorry, I'm still in my night again. I mean, that was, again, drilled in my head. Always be presentable. You never know. Always be presentable. And, uh, God, heaven forbid anybody catch you in your pajamas. And, uh, she's like, it's okay. She said, is anybody going to die if, if they find you in your pajamas? And I'm like, well, no. She said, then it's fine. Don't worry about it. So, there, I got way off track with that one, didn't I? Where were we going? I was talking about my tattoo. Talking about my grandma. I am okay. Yeah, see, there it goes. <laughs> Y'all be sweet. Bye.